Let's focus in on the waves. <clears throat> we want you to use the pen tool to help you go in and draw these nice curvy wave lines. Now the problem that most students have, they, they, they're get, if they're using Illustrator the first time, it's a hard time to under, grasp the pen tool. The pen tool is used for a variety of, of drawings and once you keep working with it, it gets actually a lot easier. Now the one thing I want to make sure you focus in on is that if you don't get exactly the setup that you want, you can always go back and modify it with the direct selection tool. And that is the key, is that a lot of times you're not going to get exact. So what you want to do is you want to go back and you want to modify. And there's a couple different ways of doing it. So I'm going to show you one way, <clears throat> then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to show you a different way to modify the information. So this will help enhance what you see in the video tutorial on creating these shapes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool. Now I'm going to use this as a guide and what I'm going to do, <clears throat> we have what we call our corner points and we have curved points. We have corner and curved points on this shape. And so what you want to do is you want to look where the curves are because when you create a curve with a pen tool you have to create what we call our direction handles. These handles just stretch out and they basically create a curve. So what I want to do is I'm going to start here by dragging upwards. Oops, let me start this one more time. Hold on my mouse, drag it upwards and this is what we call a directional handle you'll see that two handles are created. Now I'm going to come up here and you can see my path automatically is starting to be curved because of the directional handle itself. And what I want to do, because this top is a corner point, I don't want to curve so I'm not going to hold down my mouse and drag to create directional handles. So I'm just going to click. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom of this curve and this is a curve itself so what I want to do is I'm going to drag it to the right to try to create that one angle. Now again notice how it's coming in for the next the left segment. So we're only doing one segment at a time. Don't worry about the next one until you get to the next segment. So now what I want to do is since I have the curve I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click and then I'm going to come back down to the bottom since I have a curve I'm going to drag it to the right I'm going to go back up click drag it to the right so it's going to be consistent here now don't worry with what's going over on the left hand side you can see some white um, and it's not completing the shape yet so don't worry about that what I'm doing is I'm trying to finish my path. I want to click and I'm just going to come down and I'm just going to create a nice little curve. I'm going to, this here I'm going to just drag my directional handle down just a little bit. As you can see here, what I want to do now is either you, you can click on the anchor point or you can come over and uh, click on the pen tool again or the black arrow to deselect the pen tool. Now this is what we call an open path, an open path. Um, you, there are, like the circle would be what we call a closed path. And you'll start learning more about these terms as you move into other classes. As you can see here, it's not exact. It's not exact. So what I want to do here, first of all, I can change the color to the blue. <laughs> so, you know, if I wanted to, I can go in and change the fill color here. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to try to manipulate this to kind of make it sure it is exact. So the first thing I want to do is I want to deselect and I want to click on my direct selection tool which is the white arrow. 
Now when you do this, you want to deselect first because the white arrow allows you to manipulate points on the path, your direction handles. Your black arrow selects the whole path. So you want to use the, direct, the white arrow to select individual pieces. And now what you want to do is you want to click somewhere on the path. Don't click in the solid fill area. If you accidentally do that, like I just did here, I need to deselect by clicking outside it. And I want to bring my mouse and you should say path. So I'm going to click. When I click on a path, it allows me to select the anchor points that control that and the directional handle. So here I'm going to take this handle, I'm just going to move it over to the right a little bit. So I'm trying to get it to fit exactly. Now when I come over and you see these, if I bring my mouse over top of this uh, little point, it will say anchor. The anchor point controls where the path will be placed. So you can move it down. Now since it doesn't, it's not going all the way down, when I hold in my mouse on this, I'm going to drag downward. So notice when I click on the anchor point, it actually goes in and shows you the directional handles. So you can actually control the shape of the curve. So I'm going to move this down and move this down. Now if you go too far, you're going to overlap certain things. So what I want to do is actually I want to bring them up <laughs> toward the top. What I'm trying to show you is that you don't have to go in and get it exactly on the first try. You can always go back and manipulate the points and the paths with your direct selection tool. So like over here, I want to click on the path that's between these two points and I want to try to manipulate the, the curve here just a little bit. to get it exactly what I want. Now it doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be, you know, what I'm going to be looking for is at the top these corner points and down at the bottom you're going to have curves. So the key here is to remember when you work with the pen tool you can go in and manipulate the paths, the anchor points, and the direction handles to control the shape of the curve and where the path is. So that's the beauty of it, is going back and editing it to make sure it's traced correctly on that part.